So you're in your living room watching a movie when your smoke alarm goes off. Before you even know what's going on, you're running to the kitchen looking for smoke when you realize you forgot to take the cookies out of the oven. So you grab the fire extinguisher to put out the fire. So in this example, the smoke alarm is like your brain and the sound going off is like when you feel physical pain. Let me explain. All right, to start off, all pain, no matter who you are, is created in your brain. First, we have these little sensors all throughout our body that are called nociceptors. Now, when these nociceptors are activated by unpleasant physical things like a cut or a burn, they send a little electric signal that travels through the wires in your body called your nerves. Now, these little electric signals go up your spinal cord and reach your brain. Then your brain interprets these electric signals and tries to determine if the signal is dangerous or not. Now, your brain makes the decision based on the signal and other factors that are going on, like what you're doing, memories you have, emotions at the time, and the source of the signal in your actual body. Now, if your brain determines these signals aren't dangerous, then no pain is created in your brain. But if your brain makes the decision that these signals are dangerous, then it creates pain and you experience this strong hurt physical sensation in your body that we know as pain. And then after your brain decides that this is an injury, your brain sends electrical signals down to the rest of your body to actually do something about it. All right, now let's go back to that smoke alarm example from earlier. The burnt cookies are like the injury in your body. The smoke from the cookies is like the little electric signals from your nociceptors. The smoke alarm detecting the smoke is like your brain detecting the electric signals. The smoke alarm going off is like your brain creating pain. And you running to the kitchen to put out the fire after you hear the alarm is like you calling for help when you feel pain. So pain can be a good thing. Just like the smoke alarm going off to warn you about a dangerous fire, our brains go off and create pain to warn us and protect us from potentially dangerous injuries. Now, smoke alarms aren't always perfect. Sometimes smoke alarms can be a little too sensitive to the fumes in the air, like when you're making toast and the alarm goes off because you like the toast a little burnt. Our brains can sometimes be a little too sensitive to the electric signals and sound off a pain alarm when there isn't any injury at all. That overly protective and sensitive brain of ours can sometimes be the cause for why people have chronic pain. If you want to learn more about pain in the brain or about ways of making the brain less sensitive, check out my pain psychology playlist. Leave any questions down below and leave any comments on future pain topics you'd like me to cover.